guy told me that the other day. I didn't get it. <laughs> it's surreal. <laughs> Maybe that's why I didn't get it. I'm a symbolist. And a good for nothing one at that. <laughs> that's not fair. Our post romanticism comes to us. God listens to a lot of water these days. My romanticism is not post. And for everyone's information, so far, symbolism is an excuse for not doing the dishes. <laughs> and my romanticism is Neo. Post. Neo. Post. Neo. Post. Okay, my God. Stop it, please. This is not some sleazy guy somewhere. Keep it on the down low. <laughs> the reason the joke is so funny is because of the perfect selection of, of the letter E. It couldn't be an A-shaped pipe because A is functioning as both an article and a noun. Who even needs it? It couldn't even be a B-shaped pipe because of the confusion of the letter B and the insect. It couldn't be a C-shaped pipe because a man wouldn't have known if we were uppercase or lowercase C. They look the same. I'll come back to D. It couldn't be an F-shaped pipe because F is plain, not funny. It couldn't be an A-shaped pipe because of the imbalance situation. Two vertical bars supported by a weaker crossing structure. No! It, and it could be an eye-shaped pipe because of the dot problem. Do you connect the dot, in which case it's not an eye, or do you leave it separate? <laughs> which raises the question, is it a dot, or is it a cupcake? <gasps> <laughs> it could be a K-shaped pipe because K has Kafka written all over it. And it could be an M-shaped pipe because of the M-W dilemma. M to whom? And need I mention sigma? And it couldn't be an O-shaped pie because the pie is O-shaped. It couldn't even be a P-shaped pie because P-shaped pie has this naughty calypso. Okay, please, it. stop it, please, okay? We, we get it, you know letters. Are you gonna go on? No? Good, shut up. Are you gonna wait until I'm dead on the floor? No? Good, shut up. I'm not the entire thing because some of them are so simple, they don't even need an explanation. Okay, like you, for example. <laughs> Oh, a Q is just an O with a comma through it, and a comma shaped pie is just a croissant. <laughs> Thanks. You see, you no, no, please. I have to do L. I mean D. I mean Q. I mean P. Whoa! All of you. No. <laughs> Suzanne. I don't remember. Uh, you started to tell me. My ear is inches away from your mouth. 
You left them half whispered mixed with cries and passion obscure in their meaning. Don't you remember? Yes. <laughs> I drew three pictures of you from memory. You did? Yes, but I could do better. I'll be there later. What a coincidence. So will I. <laughs> I should go now. <laughs> After the play is over. The cat door was locked. What's meant? What's meant? Who's the third? In this bar tonight, we have two men, Picasso and Einstein. Who's the third person in this triangle? I mean, there has to be a third person. Think of the triptych, the holy triptych, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. Not to mention that bad news comes in threes. So who's the third? Who could be the third person in our triangle, so to speak, then? Maybe it's Matisse. No! It cannot be Matisse! Uh, he can be the fourth or the fifth point. But it cannot be the third point in our triangle. Well, I do hate to break it to you, but a triangle of four points will not fly. A triangle of four points went Euclid right into hell. Huh. <laughs> well, then, who's the third? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. 